Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your magical moon message. This is the Peace Dealer. The moon is in Pisces, baby! This is about to be the dopest full moon, uh, the most magical full moon, the most potent full moon. Potent refers to power, so in a cardinal sign, I'll put that, but this is it, y'all. This is not only it, this is it! This is going to quintessentially take this change of behavior and complete this divinely in ways that will rework your whole belief system in tangent with metaphysical and paranormal phenomena that match what you're already experiencing here for real. This is the type of transit where it's like, you think that you had an experience, but you're not sure. And then the universe smacks you with the synchronicity and is like, no, you were right. And so this is gonna really help you accept the whole purpose of this 2021 chapter, which 2022 is, is going to be out of this world. Like, 2021 is out of this world. 2022 is beyond what you can comprehend. 2020 was the reset. 2021 out of this world. 2022 beyond. 2023, the final close for the whole old world. And then 2024 is the beginning of the new dawn of the age of Aquarius. 2023, 2024 is that bridge point coming into the beginning of the end. The apocalypse. But before we get to all that crazy shit, like this shit isn't crazy, um, you're going to start to see more inconsistencies with the narratives you've seen fully unravel as we prepare for the second boss battle and traditional warfare with Mars and the sun, it'll be in Libra. So as we close out Virgo season, this full moon aspects the moon is seven signs seven houses away from virgo we are now fully completing our awareness of everything that is condensed physically here into matter the awareness of this analysis that constitutes the change of our behavior in order for us to apply this practically in our relationships with other people is now being completed with your receptivity to the divine if you know a Pisces moon, you need to stop playing with them. Hug a Pisces moon. Kiss a Pisces moon. Tell a Pisces moon that you're glad they even exist. Their souls aren't even here. They're holding space in extra dimensional realms just so that they can bring into this reality abstract ideas, beliefs, and experiences that will always go over your head and under your radar. These are some of the most misunderstood souls of all time. And this is going to make you receptive to the unseen phenomena with which you can feel through a vibe, which you can apply to the awareness of the analytical reality that we think is real, but it's probably some simulation made by hobgoblins and evil fairies and aliens. We know you're out there too. Regardless of if that's true or not, what you're going to apply with this divine completion of mastery is going to now with Aries, to Virgo, the first six zodiac signs take six months of hardcore individualization and socialization with Leo and Virgo and bridge that baby into the gateway of the gods, my friends, as you're going to take six months of hardcore personal development and take them into relationships as you have mastered superpowers, supernatural abilities. Don't think that I'm too woke for school. Superpowers do exist. They don't have to be levitation. They don't have to be x-ray vision. Kindness is a superpower. Patience is a superpower. Chastity is a superpower. Temperance is a superpower. I don't know what you heard, but the seven virtues in a world where the seven deadly sins run rampant is a superpower. So these don't have to be anything super extreme. This is basically the development of your attitude and behavior throughout six months that you'll be interfacing over the next six months with relationships with other people. I actually do this. I'm not just some dude on the internet talking about the stars. For four to eight years that I've been doing this, everything that I've predicted and said has come true. You don't see me out here asking for credit. You don't see me out here crying. No one wants to give me respect or credit for what I predicted. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm a messenger. I'm just here to give you the message. Forget my ego. And those of you who've been showing love have been giving me my flowers, have been giving me my respect. I'm five stars on Google my whole life. 
People have told me that what I do is pseudoscientific, but I have my own work to speak for itself and show for it. Over 500 reviews from people all around the world, five stars, being told that I'm the best and the GOAT. This is not self-proclaimed because I don't do this for the money. I don't do this for clout. There are YouTubers and people with over 100,000 subscribers. YouTube and Instagram is shadow banning me for telling the truth. There, there are people who to this day are like, why can't I find you, bro? How come when you go live, they don't notify me? Because they don't like niggas telling the truth. They don't like people telling the truth, but they don't like niggas telling the truth. That's a fact. Okay, there are popular YouTubers who use this whole spirituality bullshit so that they can pander to you and give you these feel good messages and tell you what the fuck you want to hear. And they have over 100,000 subscribers. They have plaques on YouTube, but they be scamming people. They ask people for readings. They get people's money. And you have a bunch of people who never receive the readings. They put on this image. You people love them because they have all these accurate ass readings. And regardless of what people think, about me there is not a single person in the eight years i've been doing and practicing consultations that could ever say that i have ever scammed them i've never done any of that bullshit out of integrity i have unfailingly given you messages and i have broken down some extraordinary shit but this isn't about me this is about the ultimate perception that we're getting ready to change relative to the old generation passing the torch to the new. This isn't about me tooting my own horn. This is about me just being an instrument of the universe and letting you know that we out here. I'm not the only one showing up and showing out. Many of you watching this are doing your part and you're in a position where years, but relative to the last six months of hardcore individualization and mastering your ability since 2020 that awaken your power, you're getting ready to step into the full ultimate mastery of this, where you have mastered every aspect of your abilities. And this is very important because the Pisces moon is going to give you a very receptive understanding for the final perception in order to gain in all areas why. Virgo answers how, Pisces answers why, you're experiencing what you're experiencing, sun and Virgo, with the awareness of how you're experiencing this. So a lot of you are going to get great epiphanies. A lot of you are going to process experiences that will enable you to understand why certain things had to happen to put you in this position because you are not just you. You are not a flesh suit. You're not a physical being. You are a spiritual being having a physical experience. And it doesn't really matter if you accept that. Science is life to you. Physics has lied to you. Biology has lied to you with materialist reductionism and has told you that you are just a flesh shoot and matter. They do not acknowledge your soul. They do not acknowledge your spirit. That's, that's not cool. That's a lie. You're being fucking lied to. And so when you don't acknowledge that you have these immaterial, metaphysical, unseen aspects of yourself, multidimensional aspects of yourself, you think that you're just this material being when this is but just an avatar of extra dimensional aspects of yourself that have always existed beyond just this realm. Don't take my word for it. The next two days will have you experience this with the full mastery of being able to analyze and integrate such extra dimensional phenomena into your real life. Just have a regular conversation with anybody. You will see it. So this is going to be very important because we've had a full moon in Pisces before, but we never had a full moon in Pisces with Neptune in the third decade. We did last year, but last year was a reset. This is the year we have it with Saturn and Jupiter and Aquarius, and you're gaining extraordinary knowledge with which you'll release, you know, fake ass science that you've been lied to your whole life with inconclusive research and data that was really just meant to hold back and limit a whole generation who is here to burn all these false narratives and programs and lead the whole world into a new age. We're entering into a new age of gods. All these children that you know, born after 95, are all supernatural they all have god forms we're entering into an age where life expectancy is going to change you already see it with jeff bezos hiring scientists to fight this this is not spirituality mumbo jumbo technology is going to be mixed into this that is the advent of any progressive society but we're still in an apocalypse cycle of unveiling and the end of basically what you've always known your whole life that's just how cycles work last time pluto was where it was at 
colonists came through and fought against taxation without representation and all the liberties you're enjoying now, you have because they fought that revolutionary war. And this cycle is coming back around. So please keep this in mind. This is a very important full moon. This is a very important full moon. It is wrapping up generations worth of energy, experiences, and character seen in a humanity and you. So really keep this in mind. You guided yourself with your spirit team, your friends, the people in your life, directly and directly with the narratives and drama you play out so that you can step into this new chapter and new season. Season one was crazy. Season two was ridiculous. Season three is the banger. Season four is the closure before we step back into 2022. First season, April, airy season. I hope y'all are ready. This full moon is going to reveal anything you need to understand to step into Libra season like a boss. Because we go have the moon in Aries and your identity is going to transform because now you've completed Virgo season. Your behavior has transformed and changed. And so you're not the same person you started this Virgo season transit with. Like when you started this Virgo season, hypothetically doing a workout regimen, now you finish that workout regimen. You see changes in your body, your behavior has changed, you don't have certain addictions, you're not the same person, you've transformed your identity. That's the next transit. Then we step into Libra season and it's game time. Second boss battle, Guild Wars, baby. You're gonna use your superpowers with other people. And once again, I'm saying that these are superpowers, but when you hear me say superpowers, you're thinking Marvel, you're thinking DC, you're thinking super strength. I'm talking about kindness. I'm talking about patience. I'm talking about enhanced cognitive thinking. Maybe you used to focus for like a minute. Now you can focus for two minutes. It's the little things that bring the greatest results, but this is going to be fucking awesome. Because we do have the moon trining Venus and Scorpio that's going to intensely connect the social navigation of your heart in complex shared emotions with how you can derive greater meaning of where this is supposed to lead you. Don't lose yourself in this process where you get too finicky over little things you do. Know that everything leads to something, even if it's disadvantageous seemingly to you. And be in a position to be receptive to all parts of you because this is all going to converge and weave. Moon in Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini is the harvest of this Virgo transit that we'll experience in relationships with others to Leo before the first quarter square in Cancer or the third quarter square leading into the new moon in Libra. I'm excited because I've been talking shit about superpowers for a long time if you've been following me. And this is where you don't have to take my word for it. You're going to be producing the completion of these abilities today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, when the moon is Aries, you're taking action on it. What's up? I love y'all. Y'all been showing me love. Y'all been y'all y'all who watch these messages and been letting me know they're on point, they resonate. The only reason why they resonate is because I'm just letting you know what the stars are saying. I give all the glory to God. I'm not some special, like, super psychic or anything. All I'm doing is showing you what they're saying, and I'm translating it. So just like I can do it, you can do it too. And this is the movement that we represent because the authority figures that are supposed to guide you are lying to you. They're saying that this shit is pseudoscientific, but none of them know their moon sign. They're deliberately suppressing truth that children need to be learning. And instead of telling them this truth, they're vaccinating and masking these kids. I'm not going to stand for that shit. Guild Wars is here. The second boss battle is here. Don't be a bitch and cave in to this societal expectation of giving in the false narratives. Let your voice be heard. And don't do it to gain followers. Do it because the truth is something you should stand and live by. I really hope you enjoy this full moon. For those of you who would like detailed insight on how these transits will affect you, Venus and Scorpio, Mars and Libra, the full moon, if you want to know exactly what superpowers are awakening, go to the thepeacedealer.com and schedule a reading with me. I have a week sale. I have a fall equinox sale that's going to end September 25th. You'll get 50% off of my 30-minute readings that you can get for 100 bucks. Holler at me. My schedule is free, but these seats are already filling up fast because I don't know if I'm going to have another sale like this again until maybe like November or December. So hit me up. We're going to have a banging reading. Look at my testimonials, my readings of the shit. 
and I will talk to you soon.